Good day, everyone. You're welcome to the lesson of today. Our subject for today is mathematics, and our topic is time. My name is Miss Adigoki. You are welcome to this lesson. As you can see on the screen, our topic is time, T-I-M-E, time. And I'm sure that um, you are very familiar with um, a clock. Um, a clock tells us the time. Not only a clock, you have your most of you have your wristwatches. Um, you the wristwatch also tells you the time. You know, um, the face of the clock. You know, shows some digits, and then the digits help us to identify to know what time of the day it is. So as you can see on the screen, we have number twelve. You know, we have. Um, number six we have um, one to twelve as numbers on the face of um, the clock so that's what we want to look at today telling the time you are welcome once again now at the end of this lesson you should be able to recite the time measure correctly then identify the hands on a clock and then you tell the time as o'clock as half past, as quarter past, and as quarter two. Don't worry, you are going to get everything. We have a clock, half past, quarter past, then we have a quarter two. You are going to get everything. As you can see here, there's a picture of a clock. You see 12, you see 1 there, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They are always 12. They are always 12 digits on the face of a clock okay we are looking at time okay time refers uh, to the part of the day that we are in the part of the day that we are in okay and then we tell the time by looking at the face of a clock we look at the face of a clock to tell the time and the face of a clock has 12 digits as you can see there's one here which is the 12 is always written here we have them um, one we have them um, two this is three this is four this is five this is six this is seven this is eight this is nine this is ten this is eleven and of course this is a uh, 12. So as you can see, there are always um, 12 figures uh, on the face of the wall clock. Look at it here. Okay, there's, you know, each of the uh, numbers here is represented by the face of a clock, just so that you can know and understand what we are talking about. Okay, look at this um, picture. We want to talk about time. How do we tell the time? You will notice that um, a clock always have um, two basic hands and then there's another one hand that is always moving and rotating on and on and on and on. Can you see what I'm talking about? We have um, a short hand here. We have um, a longer hand here, a long hand. Then we have this one that is always moving. Our focus today is not on this red one that is always moving and moving round and round and round. No, our focus is not on that. That is the second end. Okay, our focus is on this uh, long one and then the short one. That's what we want to look about. If you look at the picture I showed you first of all, you will see that this long one you see in red is the minute and it does not mean that they're always in red. Just take note. The long one is for the minute, while the short one is for the hour. We are going to see what the two of them does as we um, go on. Okay, before we um, consider the minute and the hour, let's um, take a look at this time measurement. Repeat after me. 60 seconds make one minute. 60 minutes make one hour. 24 hours make one day. Seven days make one week. 
52 weeks make one year. 365 days make one year. 366 days make one leap year. I'll repeat it again then. Take it after me. 60 seconds make one minute. 60 minutes make one hour. 24 hours make one day. Seven days make one week. 52 weeks make one year. 365 days make one year. 366 days make one leap year. Okay, that's for time measurement. Now you are to memorize this because it will help you a lot, especially when it comes to solving questions. It will really help you. But I will explain what each and every one of this mean. 60 seconds make one minute. You know, I was telling you before that that long hand that keeps moving around around is the second, this red one. It is the second minute. When it moves around the clock like that, it would have completed 60 seconds. Let me show you. Look at this. This is um, the clock. This is um, zero. So we want to check. See, from 12 to 1, there are four small lines in between. Then we have one. Another small, another um, four small lines. Then we have two. Another four small lines. We have three. Another small four lines. We have four. You see them? Five, six, seven, eight. Four four lines in between. Nine, ten, eleven. Then this is twelve. Why do we have those um, small lines in between? Because from twelve to one, that's five seconds. So if this is zero. Take note, if this is zero, then this one will be one, two, three, four. And then one becomes number five. Can you see that? So if this is number five, see, let's continue counting. Six, seven, eight, nine. Then two is number what? Ten. Let's continue. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. This is 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. This is 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, then this becomes 60. That is where the OO starts from, the zero. So by the time we finish round like that, that's 60. So as the second end move from this um, 12, that is this and this and that says 12, which also means 60. And where our zero, zero is starting from. So from here, by the time this red and let's say, moves round it has completed 60 seconds is that okay because it counts like sometimes it does not move so round like that it goes one by one boom 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 and then it goes round 60 times like that you know this one is uh, more or less like running you know it's not counting one after the other sometimes they count one after the other you are going to see that later on Okay, so by the time that second hands move round the wall clock, then you have one minute. When it moves 60 seconds like that one minute, let me show you again. Take note though. Look at this um, black hand. Look at this black hand. It was here before. Take note, it was here before. By the time this thing moves, uh, okay, it is here. It is starting from here, this second one. 
okay by the time this uh, red ant moves round then this black end will move from here to this next one can you see that it's not passing that at all just from this one to this next one is that taken that's why we say 60 seconds by the time that red ant moves round 60 times then uh, the long ant will move from one from one minute to the next minute is that taken okay so 60 seconds is one minute and 60 minutes is one hour so as we have seen uh, this is one minute this is two minutes three minutes four minutes and this is five minutes all these um, short ants that you see here and they are the minute ant. I told you um, that one that was running this one is the second ant. while this black one is the minute ant. we are still going to uh, talk more about that as we go on just make sure you pay close attention I told you before that the short hand is the hour hand, while the long hand is the minute hand. This one counts this uh, minutes that you see here, you know, and we have 60 of them. Those 60 are the minutes that we have. By the time the short hand moves around, it would have completed um, 60. And it is 60. By the time it counts round like that, it counts 60. The same thing with the minute hand. So the minute hand also counts 60. But the hour hand, we don't count it as 60. We count the hour hand as 1, 1. That's the difference. The seconds and the minute hand, they count 60. Though the seconds is very fast. The seconds hand is very fast. Faster than the minute hand. But the two of them count 60, 60. While the hour hand count 12. It just counts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Is that taken? Seconds ends, minutes ends, they count 60, while the hour hand count 12. So 60 minutes is one hour. By the time this uh, minutes end moves round the face of the clock, then this short end will move from one number to the next number. Now, so 60 minutes is one hour. Then 24 hours is one day. Somebody may be asking me, how come there are 24 hours in one day? Look at the face of the clock. We have 1 to 12, right? We have 1 to 12 as the face of the clock. Okay. Uh, now, in a day, it does start from 12 midnight. Once it is 12 midnight, of course, people are still sleeping. And then what happens? You sleep until about um, 5 or 6. Then you wake up. That's morning. Then you prepare yourself. Um, you have to go out. Or even if you are not going out, you prepare yourself. Then around 8, 9, you take your breakfast. It is still morning. I hope you know. It is still morning. But the clock is moving from 12 midnight it has come to around 8, 9 in the morning. And then you do some other things. Of course, when it is now 12 o'clock, we call it the midday. That is the middle of the day. Take note. There is one 12 o'clock in the midnight. Then there's another 12 o'clock at midday. Do you see that now? You are sleeping um, at, you are sleeping um, during the midnight. You are sleeping. But by the time it comes to 12 again, you are awake then everywhere is bright that first wave everywhere is dark everybody is sleeping but now everywhere is bright it is around that time that you usually go for break in school okay so it is now 12 midday the clock has moved from 12 to 12 but that is not all it moves like that twice in a day first from midnight to that midday then after midday you are still in school if you am um, during school time you will still be in school around that time then from 12 from 1 to that's afternoon you know you finish your schoolwork you are planning to go home so one two three you are still in you are you are it is still afternoon you know either you are at school or your parents are at work but it is daytime so from 12 1 2 3 that's afternoon it is still the same day 
At first, you were sleeping, you woke up, then it's midday. From midday, you have afternoon. Midday means middle of the day. So you have um, afternoon, and then from four, evening starts, and then by the time, you know, it is still the same day. From four, evening starts, then by 7 p.m., um, it is already getting to night time because everywhere is becoming dark again. Okay, seven, eight, sometimes some people sleep eight, nine, children are to sleep eight, nine, um, adults are to sleep from nine, ten, you know, and then you, the, you, the hour keeps moving. From 12 midday, you have afternoon, you have evening, we have afternoon, we have evening, and then we have night time. You know, that night time will now lead us back to um, that 12 midnight. So in one day, the clock moves round twice. From midnight to midday, and from midday to midnight. So that's why we say 24 hours make one day. 12 plus 12 is 24. The first 12 and the second 12. 2 plus 2 is 4, and 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, the first 12 and the second 12 makes 24. So there are 24 hours in one day. And there are now, the next one says, 7 days make one week. Okay, take a look at this. Um, in one week, we have 7 days. And the, you know the 7 days are represented, look at them. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Those are the seven days. Let's count them. You know now, there are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, there are seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven days make one week. The week starts on Sunday, then you come to school Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. On Saturday, that's the weekend. That is the week ends Saturday. Then on Sunday, the week starts again. Another new week. That's why we say seven days make one week. As in week um, of time. To know the time. Not W-E-A-K. Which is a week. To be feeling uh, not to be strong. Okay. Seven days make one week. W-E-E-K. Okay, so after seven days make one week, then we have 52 weeks make one year. Before I go to 52 weeks make one year, take note that uh, as these seven days make one week, then we have four weeks in a month. Take a look at it. Sometimes it's more than four weeks, maybe by two days or three days or maybe one day. Okay, just take a look. This is one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Say this fourth week, the fourth week here, there is one day that is missing. But let's leave this one day that is missing. Look at this one. We have um, four extra days here. So we have um, approximately four weeks and then some days in each month. Look at this February. This one has um, one full week here. One full week, one full week, one full week, one full week, then one extra day. Can you see that? Look at this March. One full week, one full week, one full week, one full week, one, two, three, four. Then three extra days. So every month has four weeks and then they have extra days. That is not up to one week. That is not up to seven days. Is that taken? Okay. So um, that's why we say four weeks make one month. It does not necessarily mean that uh, four times seven, which is 28. No. There are four full weeks and there may be some extra one or two or three days is that taken okay so uh, so we've come to um four weeks make one month and 52 weeks make one year you know that we said them uh, four weeks make one month okay and how many months are in a year there are how many 12 right january february march april may june july august september october november december we have 12 months Okay, if there are 12 months, and then we say, okay, every month has um, four weeks. Let's multiply. How many is that? Four times two, eight. Then four times one, four. That's 48. So if every month has four weeks, and there are 12 months in a year, so that's 48 weeks 
for all the year. But that is not what I, that is not what I said just now in this um, time measurement. In this time measurement, we say 52 weeks. About 52 weeks make one year. Okay. Why is it that 52 is different from 48? You know, I also mentioned that um, apart from the four months, sometimes a month has an um, extra two or three days. Okay. A, a, a month has an um, extra two or three days. So all the two plus three plus two plus three plus one, they are the ones that make up the extra weeks that we have. So instead of 48, we have 52 weeks, about 52 weeks in a year. Is that taken? So if you now calculate 48, 52, 52 minus 48, that's four weeks. So all the extra three days, two days, by the time you calculate them together, they are giving you um, about 28 days. And 28 days mean four weeks because one week is um, seven days and two weeks will be 14 days. Is that taken? Okay, we've talked about... Um, 52 weeks make one year, then 365 days make one year. In a year, there are 365 days. But in a leap year, instead of 365, the days will be 366. Let me show you the calendar again. See, look at um, this February. It is February that uh, determines whether a year, I'm not supposed to mark Jen, it's February that determines whether a year is a leap year or just a normal year now if february take a look at this february how many days are in this february what was the last date here this is 29 okay if february has um 29 days then that is a leap year but if february ends at 28 then that is um, a normal year a leap year is when february um ends at um, 29 when february gets to 29 it's not every time that february gets to 29 so take note of that. It's not every time. Um, in every, and we have a leap year every four years. Okay, after, if February is 29 now, it is the next fourth, um, four years that we are going to have another February that has 29 again. Is that taken? Okay, so a leap year is always every four, four years. So if February is 29 now, next year will be 28. The next one after that, 28. The next one after that, 28, and then the fourth one will be 29. Is that taken? So it is like that. 29, 28, 28, 28, 29, 28, 28, 28, 29, 28, 28, 28, 29. So that is how it is. This 2029, 20, February is 29. So that means in 2021, February will be 28. Is that taken? So if February is 29, that's when we have um, a leap year. But if it is 28, it is not a leap year. Is that taken? Okay. Now you can see the different clock faces that we have here. This is um, a wristwatch, as you know. And this, um, this is a wall clock. This is um, also a fanciful um, wall clock. You can see it's very beautiful. Okay, whichever one that you are familiar with that you use, Everything still tells us the time. You have your 12 to uh, 1 to 12, 1 to 12, 1 to 12. Sometimes they don't even put the number. They expect you to know that after 12, it is what? 1. So whichever one at all, the basic thing is to know the time. It's to um, be able to tell the time. And that's why we are studying this. Look at this work clock here. You can see this is the minute and and it's not moving. It's only this hour hand that is moving here. So when it is on 1, that's 1 o'clock. The long hand must be on 12. If the long hand is on 12, your short hand is on 1, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, uh -huh. and on and on like that. Okay, I wish we are, I'm going to show you, I'm showing you this picture again so that you can take a look at this. Look at this uh, long hand, the minute hand. Take note of that. The long one is for minutes. Say long is for minutes. Okay. While the short hand is for R. Say ha. Okay. Long is for minutes. While short is for R. Okay. Take note of that. 
And then I told you before that um, the second and the minute count 60, but the hour count um, 12. Let me explain to you. When this um, short hand is facing one, then you will call it one. Now, when the short hand is facing two, it is two. Um, the hour is two. When the short hand is facing three, the hour is three. When the short hand is facing four, the hour is four. Sometimes we write hour first and then we write the minutes later on. Okay? So if the short hand is facing, uh, whatever the short hand is facing, that's the hour hand. You just write the number there, four. And uh, then we now come to the minutes. Whatever the short hand is facing, that's the hour. Then whatever the minute hand is facing, that's the minute. But minute, you don't count minutes as a one, two, three, four, five. We count minutes because I showed you the other time that from 12 to 1, we have um, two short, um, four short lines. This is 12, four short lines and 1. So if this is um, 0, that is o'clock, then from here we have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1 will be 5. That's why we have 5 here. Can you see? Because there are four short lines. So this is 0 minutes. This is 5 minutes. 5 plus another 5, this is 10 minutes. Do you see that? If it is a long hand that is facing 2, you will say 10. Because from 12 to 2, we have um, 10 short hands. And the short hands means minutes. Do you get what I'm saying? Look at this one now. From 12 is um, o'clock. But from 12 to 1, I told you we have 4 short ends. Then we have one. There is 12 here. So from here, you have one, two, three, four. And this one is what? Five. The five is somewhere here, but you cannot see because this hand is there. So after five, plus another five. That's how we have 10 here. 15, 20. You see that? You keep adding five, five for the minute. If it is the hour hand, you just say, oh, this is 10. You write hour. See, the first one you write is hour and the minute. If I want to check this time now, do you know what the time is? The hour is what? This is um, 10. I just write 10. Then I put my uh, colon in the middle. What is the minute? The minute is uh, this long and this facing what? 1. And I told you that from 12 to 1, that's what? 5 minutes. So the time here is just 10 or 5 because I don't want to write ordinary 5. So I write 0, 5. 0, 5 still means 5. Is that taken? Look at this one now. This is the short ant telling the hour, and this is the long ant telling the minute. This is a um, 50 minutes. 50 minutes past two. 50 minutes. Now, on this 50 minutes past, we are still going to come to that later on. This 50 minutes past two uh, means and um, that it is almost three o'clock. So this one is um, 2.50, even though it is going to 3, but it has not yet gotten to 3. So it is 2.50. Is that taken? We are still going to see uh, more of it as we progress now. Okay, this is the second hand, always fast. Then we have the short hand and then the long hand. Okay, this one is very close. The short hand is always different from the long hand. The sides are not the same. Okay, sometimes we read the clock as hours, then sometimes as half past, then as quarter past. Which one is hours? When the long hand is on 12. That's also o'clock. Say o'clock. Okay, when the long hand is on 12, that's o'clock. When it is on 6, that's half past. You know that um, half of 12 is 6. So when the long hand, the minute hand, is on six that's half past when the long hand is on three see we have them um, four basic we have 12 on that 12 is what six that's we divide 12 into two six then we have them um, three then we have them um, nine can you see that we have our point in the middle can you see that so 12 is what o'clock six is what half half past half past then this three, if you share half into two, this three is quarter, quarter past. While nine is quarter two, one is quarter past, and the other one is um, quarter two. 
is that taking? You are still going to. Um, so this is o'clock. The long hand is on 12 o'clock. The long hand is on 6, half past. The long hand is on 3, quarter past. Take note of that. And then the long hand is on 9. That's um, quarter two. Quarter two. Okay. So how do we write our o'clock? You just write uh, um, o, then you write uh, your apostrophe, then we have a uh, clock. It also means o, o. Is that taken? Half past means what? Either you write uh, the hour hand like uh, this is a uh, past. This is a um, past two. So that's a um, half past. This half as pa um, this hour has um, gone round the clock. Um, the minute hand has gone round the face of the clock by half of the hour. So that's a um, two. Half past two and half of sixty is was thirty. So we write half past as two thirty. Take note of that. Then quarter past. This is um five ten fifteen minutes. So this um, time here is um one fifteen because it has passed one. You know it has not got into two yet. It has not got into two. So this is one fifteen. Is that taken? And this is six. The hour here is six. You know, I told you the short hand is different from the long hand. They are very, very different. One is long, the other one is short. So this is quarter to quarter to what? This short hand has passed six. It is going to seven, right? So this is quarter to seven, or you call it six forty-five, because if you count five five, that's five ten fifteen twenty twenty-five thirty thirty-five forty forty-five. The minute hand is on 45 and the hour hand is on 6. It has not yet reached 7. It has passed 6 but it has not yet reached 7. Okay, this is showing o'clock. But look at the hour. The short hand is facing 12. That's 12, what? O'clock. O'clock means 0, 0. Or you write O apostrophe and then you write clock. So this is 12 o'clock. What time is this one? Look at the long hand. That's half of 12. And that's what? Half past. Half past what? Half past. What's the hour? What's the number? Uh -huh. The number is um, 3. So that's half past 3. Or most of the time we write hour and then we write minute. The hour is what? 3. And the minute is what? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Is that taken? So this is 3.30. Either you first write the hour as a um, as a um, word and then you write in the either you first write the minute as word then the hour or you write the hour and the minute as digits numbers what is this one the hour is what the short hand is then nine and the minute is what five ten fifteen do you get it or we also say quarter past nine because this is a quarter past. I told you that when the long hand is on three, that's quarter past. But if it is on nine, that's quarter two. Is that taken? Quarter past nine. Okay, look at this. This is quarter past. That's where the long hand is on three. This is a half past. The long hand is on six. And this is quarter to the long hand is on nine. Can you see that? Can you see that? Okay, it is where the long hand is that it determines whether it's o'clock, quarter past, quarter to, or half past. Okay, what is the time here? This is, hour is three, and then it is on two of, that is three o'clock. Is that taken? This one, the um, minute hand is on nine, and then the hour hand has passed six. But it has not gotten to seven, so that's six. If you count five, five, that's six forty-five. And then what do we have here? The hour hand is on four, and then the minute hand is on two. But you know you don't say two for minutes. You count five, five. That's five ten. So that's four. The hour is four, and then the minute is ten. Is that taken? Though we are focusing on um, o'clock, half past, quarter past, and quarter two. Okay, can you tell me this answer? 
Someone there is raising his hand. What time is it? What time is it? The long hand is on three, while the short hand has just passed 12. It has just passed 12. It has not yet gotten to one, so it has just passed 12. But what is the minute of this? From 12 to one is five minutes. Uh -huh. By the time it gets to two, 10 minutes. By the time it gets to three, that's what? 15 minutes past. What's the hour? The red hand is on 12. So that's 15 minutes past uh, 12. Is that a kid? And 15 minutes, when the long hand is on three, I told you, either you call it 15 minutes or you call it quarter past. Is that a kid? So our hand size is a quarter past 12. Is that a kid? Either you call it 15 minutes past or quarter past. This is quarter past. If it is on six, half past. If it is on nine, quarter to. If it is on 12 o'clock, is that taken? Okay, we've talked about the minute hand. That's the long hand, counting 5, 10, 15, 20. And we've also talked about the hour hand, counting numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 to 12. Okay, that's all we've talked about. So evaluation, you are to um, tell the time on this clock. Take note of the short hand and the long hand. The short hand here is um, on 8. It has passed it, but it has not gotten to 9. So it is still 8. It has not gotten to 9. And the long hand is on 6. And 6 is what? Is it half past or quarter past? Okay. Look at this one. The long hand is on 12. That's the minute time. And 12 is what? The long hand on 12 is it o'clock or quarter past? Okay. So you have to check all this and put your answers down. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day.